Hey guys, what God? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to restore your headlight. Now this is for any type of car because this common issue happens on any type of car and the reason it happens is after a long period of time the plastic lens on your headlight tends to form a lot of dust and a lot of contaminants tend to cake onto the top layer of your plastic headlight lens and eventually the UV rays from the sun burns on that layer of contaminants and dust and dirt therefore creating that yellow tinge. Like I said, this happens on any type of car, but I've noticed that on the Mercedes-Benz, it tends to happen on the left-hand side of the headlight more than it does on the right-hand side. And if you notice this on your car, you'll also notice that only one side of the headlight tends to have that issue, but sometimes it also happens to both headlights. Here's just an example of some headlights that get that yellow tinge. So if your headlight is like this, then this video is going to show you exactly how to restore your headlight to that beautiful, nice, clear headlight once again. So for this video, we're going to use this headlight restoration kit. It's a very cheap kit. Now, I know you're probably thinking a cheap kit like this isn't going to work, but honestly, I thought the same thing as well. But to my surprise, this actually did the job. I don't have to go into it any further because the end result is going to speak for itself. So in this kit, as you can see, you get everything that you need. They even give you a attachment to a drill so you can use a drill to wet sand and apply polish and eventually finish it off. In my case, I'm using a dual action polisher just to make life a little bit easier and also to give you that safety net because it's a dual action polisher. It goes in a random orbital pattern, therefore not creating any swirl marks and also um, scratch marks at the same time. Without further ado, let's jump into the video and I'm gonna show you guys how to restore your headlight to that beautiful shine once again. The headlight at the moment, it doesn't really have that yellow tinge, but it does have that hazy look. Now I have removed my headlight lens off the car, but you can still do this on the car. Just make sure you use the masking tape that they supply you or just some sort of painter's tape in order to cover the fenders or bonnet or whichever part of the car ends up touching the lens. So the first thing you wanna do, make sure that you clean your headlight very well. Now it does come with a simple set of instructions, but I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how you do this anyway. So after you've cleaned the headlight really well and dried it all off, the first step is to use the three types of sanding paper that they give you and wet sand the headlight starting from the lowest grit which is more abrasive to the highest grit which is less abrasive and it's very important that you follow these steps because if you skip a step the end result will not come out as good as if you follow every step precisely it is very important that you do every step in sequence rather than skipping a step and trying to polish it first or whatever the case may be just make sure that you follow the steps that way it won't jeopardize the end result we start off with the 800 grit sandpaper we spray a little bit of water on the sandpaper itself attach it to the polisher if you're using one i like to spray a little bit of water on the headlight as well because you are wet sanding after all and then just begin to polish. And then when I feel like the headlight is getting a little bit dry, I also spray some more water just to help it stay wet. Just continue to sand and sand, overlap, sand and sand, overlap, until I am happy that I have passed it enough times. Okay, and then once you're done with the 800 grit, you then move on to the next highest sandpaper, which is going to be the 1200. Attach it to your polisher, spray some water on the sandpaper once again and a little bit on the headlight and continue to wet sand. Now I'm told that if you do decide to do this by hand, you are supposed to go in a clockwise circular motion. But with a random orbital dual action polisher, the machine goes in a random pattern. So 
you know, I don't think it really matters if you go in a clockwise motion. Some people might feel differently, but you know, I really don't think it matters because in the end, the machine's doing all the work. You're just moving it around so that it can sand it for you. Just going back and forth, back and forth, round and round until I evenly sand the surface. And then I just continue to spray a little bit more water and continue to sand the surface until I'm happy with the outcome. And lastly, I move to the highest grit sandpaper which is the 2000 and as always i just spray a little bit on the sandpaper and a little bit on the lens and then i continue to sand the lens this will be the final step and once i finish this step we can then begin to polish with the polish that they also supply you you get everything in this kit so you don't have to worry about getting your own polish or anything like that everything is provided in this one kit and the best thing is one kit will allow you to do two headlight lenses you get two pieces of each sanding paper and then you also get two packets of polish and two packets of lens protection as well i like to do three passes with each grit of sandpaper now with that done we wipe the lens completely clean completely dry we don't leave any type of moisture or any wetness at all on the lens and as you can see it looks like the sandpaper hasn't done anything but you have to wait and be patient for the end result that's what matters i was thinking the exact same thing when i got to this stage i thought to myself wait i've just made it worse but to my surprise as you continue and as you progress through the restoration you will see slowly the results start to come through now for this step we're just going to rip open the polish that they give you and apply it on the lens and begin to polish the lens now you basically do this until you are happy with the end result now as you can see it's a bit liquidy at the moment you're meant to mix up the bag really well as you can see right here it is a thick type of creamy paste it is just a little bit liquidy at the start it doesn't really matter in the end the end result is going to be the same because after all the liquid is dried out you will get that thick paste and that's the actual polish itself and it's going to give you that nice finish now they also supply you a foam a finishing pad as well you attach that to your polisher or you can just do it by hand and now you just polish the headlight do so until you are happy with the result you will see it slowly come to life like it once was so as you can see here just from the polish alone it's starting to look a little bit better already rather than having that really hazy dull finish it's already starting to look a little bit better so here i'm just going to continuously use the polishing paste until it's completely finished i really don't see the point in leaving any if you have all that polish to use just use it until your heart's content i'm just going to apply a little bit more now and continue to polish so that was the last of the polish now i'm just going to give it one last final pass with the polisher and then we will grab a microfiber cloth, a nice lint-free clean microfiber cloth and clean it nice and dry. And we'll then apply the final coat, which is the protective coat. So as you can see here, as I wipe off the excess polish, you can see that the lens has gotten so much clearer than it was at the beginning. If you really can't tell at the moment, wait till I put it in the sunlight. You will see exactly how good this comes up. I know it's kind of hard to see at the moment, but just wait. And it really is very smooth. So smooth that like a piece of tissue could just slide straight off this. It's just amazing, the result. So here is the last step, step three in the kit, and it is the protective layer and they also give you a white sponge 
that you use in order to apply an even coat all over the headlight lens. So here I am, I'm just going to spread it on the lens itself and begin to evenly apply the protectant with this white sponge that they give you. So as you can see, it's giving it that nice clear gloss finish now. It just looks so good now. So I just use all of it because they do give you a packet for each side and I just continue to apply an even coat all over the headlight lens until I have no more protectant left. Now look at that. Look at how clear that lens has come up. After you do this, you have to allow it to dry for 15 minutes out of direct sunlight and then you have to allow it to dry in direct sunlight for about two to three hours and then not wash your car for the next 24 hours. Don't let moisture or don't let dirt or anything get to the headlight lens for the next 24 hours. You want to keep it as clean as possible, free of contaminants for the next 24 hours. And that brings us to the end of the video. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mike's Vlogs. Signing off. I'll see you in the next one.